Welcome to RenewEnergy.com, your renewable energy and sustainability platform. At RenewEnergy.com, we believe in the power of clean, sustainable energy to transform the way we live and work. That's why we offer a range of solutions for businesses and homeowners looking to switch to renewable energy sources such as solar, wind, and water. Welcome to another enlightening video brought to you by RenewEnergy.com. Today, we delve into the fascinating world of liquid organic hydrogen carriers, commonly known as low HCs. This cutting-edge technology is reshaping the way we think about hydrogen transport and storage, crucial elements in advancing the hydrogen economy. The concept of low HCs. Low HCs represent a transformative approach to hydrogen storage and transportation. Unlike traditional methods that require high-pressure tanks or cryogenic temperatures, low HCs store hydrogen in a liquid organic medium. This method offers a safer, more efficient way to transport hydrogen over long distances, making it a game-changer in the energy sector. Honeywell's Low HC Solution A recent breakthrough in the field comes from Honeywell, which introduced its liquid organic hydrogen carrier solution in April 2023. This system is engineered for the long-distance transportation of clean hydrogen, leveraging existing refinery and transportation infrastructure. It's a cost-effective solution that simplifies the hydrogen transportation process, using a chemical process to bind hydrogen gas into a convenient liquid form. This innovation enables the use of current hydrocarbon transportation methods, like tanker trucks and pipelines, to transport hydrogen efficiently and safely. MIT's Powertrain Modification for Trucks On the application front, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, has made significant strides. An MIT research team successfully modified a transport truck's powertrain to facilitate the onboard release of hydrogen from low HCs. This development is particularly crucial for the transportation industry, offering a viable solution to reduce emissions in long-haul trucking. The safety and efficiency of low HCs. In terms of safety and efficiency, low HCs stand out. Research has highlighted the explosion risk assessment of low HC systems, pointing out their ability to safely absorb and release hydrogen at moderate temperatures and pressures. This makes low HCs not only efficient but also a safer alternative to traditional high-pressure hydrogen storage methods. Section 2. Environmental Impact and Benefits of Low HCs In this section, we will focus on the environmental impact and benefits of low HCs, a key aspect considering the global shift towards sustainable energy solutions. Reducing Carbon Emissions with Low HCs The primary environmental benefit of using low HCs lies in their potential to significantly reduce carbon emissions. Traditional methods of hydrogen transportation, such as high-pressure tanks or cryogenic transport, have a larger carbon footprint due to their energy-intensive processes. Low HCs, on the other hand, enable the transportation of hydrogen in an environmentally friendlier manner. By utilizing existing infrastructure and requiring less energy for hydrogen release and absorption, low HCs contribute to a reduction in overall greenhouse gas emissions. Enhancing Renewable Energy Integration Low HCs also play a crucial role in enhancing the integration of renewable energy sources. Hydrogen is often produced through electrolysis powered by renewable energy like solar or wind power. However, the intermittent nature of these sources can pose a challenge. Low HCs offer a solution by providing a means to store and transport the hydrogen produced, thus facilitating a more stable and reliable integration of renewable energy into the energy grid. Improving air quality Another significant environmental benefit of low HCs is their contribution to improving air quality. By enabling the use of hydrogen as a clean energy source in various sectors, particularly in transportation, low HCs help reduce the reliance on fossil fuels. This shift can lead to a noticeable decrease in air pollutants, such as nitrogen oxides, NOx, and particulate matter, which are commonly associated with diesel and gasoline engines. Low HCs in Urban Environments The use of low HCs can be particularly beneficial in urban environments. Cities, being high-density areas, suffer from higher levels of air pollution. Introducing hydrogen-powered vehicles using low HC technology can lead to cleaner urban air, contributing to healthier living conditions and lower health risks associated with air pollution. The Life Cycle Analysis of Low HCs It is also important to consider the life cycle analysis of low HCs. While they offer numerous environmental benefits, it is crucial to evaluate the entire process of their production, use, and disposal. Ongoing research and development aim to optimize the life cycle of low HCs to ensure that their overall environmental impact is minimal and sustainable. Section 3, Production Process and Technology Behind Low HCs In this section, 
we'll explore the intricate production process and technology behind liquid organic hydrogen carriers, low HCs. This is a key area that Renanergy.com is excited to share with our audience, as it sheds light on how these innovative systems work. Hydrogenation Process The core of low HC technology lies in the hydrogenation process. Here, an unsaturated organic compound, typically aromatic, reacts with hydrogen in an exothermic reaction. This process is conducted at elevated pressures, around 30 to 50 bar, and temperatures, approximately 150 to 200 degrees Celsius, in the presence of a catalyst. The outcome is a saturated compound which can be stored or transported under ambient conditions. Dehydrogenation When the stored hydrogen is needed again, the hydrogen-rich form of the low HC undergoes dehydrogenation. This is an endothermic reaction occurring at higher temperatures, 250 to 320 degrees Celsius, again in the presence of a catalyst. Before the hydrogen can be utilized, it often needs to be purified from low HC steam. Efficiency is key in this process, and the heat generated in the hydrogenation phase can be reused for heating purposes or as process heat, contributing to the overall energy efficiency of the system. Innovative Approaches Recent advancements have proposed innovative methods to convert low HC bound hydrogen into electricity. One such approach involves a thermoneutral catalyzed transfer hydrogenation step, converting ketone, acetone, to secondary alcohol, 2-propanol, by contacting a hydrogen-rich carrier. This process, which is CO2 emission-free and requires no external energy input, is particularly promising for mobile applications, such as in the onboard generation of electric energy. Section 4, Commercial Applications of Low HCs. In this segment, presented by Renianergy.com, we turn our attention to the commercial applications of liquid organic hydrogen carriers, low HCs. These applications highlight the practical utility of low HC technology in various industries. International Hydrogen Supply Chain A landmark development in the commercial use of low HC technology occurred in 2020, when Japan established the world's first international hydrogen supply chain. This initiative, connecting Brunei and Kawasaki City, utilized toluene-based low HC technology. This project marks a significant step in demonstrating the feasibility and efficiency of low HCs in global hydrogen logistics. The Methylcyclohexane Toluene Hydrogen MTH, system Dating back to the 1980s, there were efforts to use toluene, converted to methylcyclohexane through hydrogenation, as a hydrogen carrier. This concept originated in the USA and was developed at the Paul Scherer Institute in Switzerland in collaboration with ETH Zurich. Even then, a prototype truck powered by hydrogen from the dehydrogenation of methylcyclohexane was created, known as the Methylcyclohexane Toluene Hydrogen System, MTH. Chiata's spare a hydrogen delivery business. In Japan, Chiata Corporation uses the Methylcyclohexane Toluene, MCH Toll, system as the hydrogen carrier for its spare hydrogen delivery business. This system has demonstrated high conversion rates and efficiency in hydrogen delivery, showcasing the potential of low HC technology and commercial scale hydrogen logistics. Dibenzyl Toluene, DBT, for heat transfer applications. Dibenzyl Toluene, DBT, has been studied as an alternative to circumvent the challenges of other low HCs. It's currently used as a heat transfer oil, for example, under the trade name Marlotherm SH. DBT's physicochemical properties make it superior to other carrier substances, indicating its potential for broader applications in industrial settings. The commercial applications of low HCs are diverse and growing. From international hydrogen supply chains to specialized industrial uses, low HCs are proving to be a versatile and efficient solution for hydrogen storage and transportation. As technology and infrastructure continue to evolve, we can expect to see even more innovative and impactful uses of low HCs in various sectors. Section 5, Challenges and Future Prospects of Low HCs In this next segment by Renianergy.com, we examine the challenges and future prospects of liquid organic hydrogen carriers, low HCs, providing insights into the hurdles this technology faces and its potential growth trajectory. Current Challenges One of the significant challenges in utilizing low HCs for green hydrogen transportation is the low volumetric density of hydrogen. This aspect requires addressing to fully realize the potential of low HCs in decarbonizing the energy and transport sectors. Additionally, the energy-intensive dehydrogenation stage in low HC systems is a concern from an environmental perspective, as it affects the overall sustainability of the process. Economic and Environmental Sustainability Analysis 
a comparative sustainability analysis of various liquid carriers, including liquid hydrogen, liquid ammonia, synthetic natural gas, and three promising low HCs, methanol, dibenzyl toluene, and methyl cyclohexane, has highlighted the economic and environmental aspects of these options. The study suggests that by 2050, ammonia and methanol could be the most promising carriers for small to medium level market penetrations, while liquid hydrogen might be preferable for high level market penetrations due to its lower levelized cost and lack of an energy intensive dehydrogenation stage. Future prospects Looking to the future, the development of a strategic policy framework around the globe is essential to comply with legal requirements set forth by entities like the United Nations, including the Paris Agreement and Sustainable Development Goals. This approach will be crucial in promoting the adoption and scalability of low HC technology, ensuring that it aligns with global environmental and sustainability objectives. While low HCs hold promise in advancing the hydrogen economy, addressing their current challenges and aligning them with global sustainability goals are key to their future success. Continued research and development, coupled with supportive policy frameworks, will be instrumental in overcoming these hurdles and realizing the full potential of low HCs in various sectors. Section 6 technological advancements in low HCs. In this segment brought to you by RenewEnergy.com, we focus on the latest technological advancements in liquid organic hydrogen carriers, low HCs, a field experiencing rapid innovation, driving us towards a more sustainable energy future. Advancements in low HC materials. Recent studies have explored the potential of different low HC materials, such as methyl cyclohexane, MCH, dibenzyl toluene, DBT, N-ethylcarbazole, NEC, and naphthalene, NAP. These materials have been investigated through simulations and analyzes focusing on their physiochemical properties, techno-economic aspects, and heat network integration. Such comprehensive investigations are crucial for identifying the most efficient and economically viable low HCs for various applications. Biofuel Production one exciting advancement in the use of low HCs is their ability to generate in situ hydrogen, which can be directly used to produce biofuel precursors, fuels, or fuel additives. This development is especially important in the context of replacing fossil feedstocks and moving towards a carbon-neutral energy economy. Novel Energy Systems The integration of low HC technology into novel energy systems represents a significant leap forward. These systems can store and transport hydrogen under standard temperature and pressure, chemically bound to a carrier. The development of these systems is a testament to the versatility and adaptability of low HC technology in various energy applications. Towards a hydrogen economy. The progress in low HC technology supports the vision of a future hydrogen economy that operates without handling large amounts of elemental hydrogen. This approach simplifies the logistics and safety concerns associated with hydrogen transportation and storage, making low HCs a key player in the transition to a hydrogen-based energy system. The advancements in low-HC technology are paving the way for more efficient, sustainable, and safer methods of hydrogen storage and transportation. As we continue to explore and improve these technologies, low-HCs are set to play a pivotal role in the global shift towards a greener and more sustainable energy landscape. Conclusion, the role of low-HCs in shaping the future of energy. Final thoughts. As we wrap up this comprehensive exploration, presented by RenewEnergy.com, of liquid organic hydrogen carriers, low HCs, it's clear that this technology stands at the forefront of revolutionizing the hydrogen economy. Key takeaways. Innovative transport and storage, low HCs offer a groundbreaking approach to hydrogen transport and storage, leveraging their ability to store hydrogen in a liquid organic medium, thus simplifying logistics and increasing safety. Environmental benefits. The use of low HC significantly reduces carbon emissions, enhances the integration of renewable energy sources, and improves air quality, contributing to environmental sustainability. Technological advancements, continuous innovations in low HC materials and systems are addressing earlier challenges and opening up new applications, particularly in biofuel production and novel energy systems. Commercial applications. From global hydrogen supply chains to specialized industrial uses, low HCs demonstrate their versatility and efficiency in various sectors. Future prospects. Despite certain challenges, the future of low HCs is promising. Aligning with global sustainability goals and advancing research will be key to unlocking their full potential. Moving forward. The journey towards a sustainable energy future is complex and challenging, but technologies like low HCs are pivotal in navigating this path. As we continue to innovate and implement these solutions, we edge closer to a world powered by clean, efficient, and sustainable energy. 
Thank you for joining us on this journey through the world of low HCs. For more informative content on green hydrogen and sustainable energy solutions, stay connected with RenewEnergy.com. Thank you for choosing RenewEnergy.com as your go-to source for all things renewable energy and sustainability. With our YouTube channel, we explore the latest developments and innovations in the field, including hydrogen fuel cells and the use of AI and machine learning to optimize energy consumption. If you're ready to take the next step towards a cleaner, more sustainable future, visit us at RenewEnergy.com and discover the many ways we can help you transition to renewable energy. Thank you for watching and subscribing. Stay up to date on all the latest news and insights by subscribing today.